Hello YouTube, brothers and sisters. A little video here. Uh, I was watching a little bit of online sermon there. And uh, of course, a verse comes across that makes me go, hmm, because my mind always goes, hmm, and I'm curious about things. And anybody that I don't know if you know me it's kind of like he shows you things that are pertinent in your life at the time God answers questions with the word all right so anyway sitting here watching and there's been a, an issue going on with me over basically who is God and who is um, Jesus Christ and who is Almighty God, who is the Triune, who is the Holy Spirit, the whole nine yards. Okay. And I'm, I'm a rather, like, technical sort of a person there when it comes to stuff like that. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm looking down here because now I have that um, Blue Litter Bible on my phone and I didn't have it on there before. Yeah, real technical genius me. Um, and it'll help because before it's always my blue letters on the tablet that I use so I can't really access it while I'm making a video and then, yeah. So, anyway, I was watching this <coughs> Colossians or this video and it <coughs> sent it's talking on Colossians, uh, chapter 1, verses 15 and 17, or 15 to 17, right? And it says, The one who sustains the universe, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities, or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. Okay. <clears throat> Part of the big controversy that I've had with people is that I'm showing the difference between the title for Almighty God, who is God, and the title for His Son, Jesus Christ, who is His Son, who He says is His Son, and who, right here, it just jumps out, right? They're going, no, look at He is God, and I, He is, right here, the one who sustains the universe, Colossians, Chapter 1, verses 15 to 17. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creation, or every creature. God, manifest in a man. Not yet. Right now, it says, the one who sustains the universe, as in the book of Job, right? God went down to talk to Job said, look, at this is what I do. I sustain the universe, man. I take care of everything. You think you can handle my job? And Job's like, no. Well, this is saying, okay, and everybody's saying, but this is Jesus, right? Yes, it is, because Jesus, yes, is the Word of God, manifest in a man. And Jesus is the firstborn, let's get the right word, who is the image of the invisible God. Now, when you look up the word God, right there, I'm not on that verse. <laughs> um, it's Theos, T-H-E-O-S, okay? not Jehovah which is the name of God by himself the Father 
this is Theos, the Godhead. This is the image of the invisible God, the Godhead. And when you go into the Godhead, it defines it as God, Jesus, the Spirit. That's the three of them. And that's the order they're in. That's just what I read. Right? <clears throat> and this, this just... For by him were all things created, right? Everything was created by him. And they go, see him, and yes, him, and it, him is the word him, and it's that's what it means, him. And they're talking about the image of the invisible God, triune, the image of the triune God, okay? God, the Son, and the Spirit. Jesus Christ is the image, yes. 100%. Jesus is the Son of God. And it says right here in Colossians that he is the firstborn of every creature. So the first thing God did was made his image. Then they made and in their image. <clears throat> it's a tricky little thing, this whole triune Godhead thing. But it's a triune Godhead, right? Which is a triune is three. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so in order to have a triune, you have to have three. In order to have three, they're not, they're separate. Is Jesus God? Yes, 100%. As a man, the first created, the firstborn of every creature. The firstborn of every creature. God first made his image every word that Jesus spoke was the word of God okay um, he only spoke God's words he said he didn't speak his own words um, he didn't sin he showed us what a truly holy man in the image of God would live like and gave us like the top of the level of the bar top bar to reach would be that that's the ultimate platform and we'll never succeed we can't but that's okay it's still a good guideline you know here you go this is the perfect way to live jesus christ who is jesus christ god yes he's god and to To restate, to reclaim my stand, <clears throat> Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's the image of God. He's in God and God is in Him. But He is not the Father. He's the Son. And it clearly states this in the Bible. Quite a few places. Jesus says it. I'm not the Father. I am in the Father and the Father is in me. That's what he says. That's what he says. I speak not my own words. I speak my Father's words. <clears throat> he doesn't say I speak my words in human form. There's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I does not diminish Jesus Christ in any way, guys. The one who sustains the universe is how this starts. Jesus Christ is in charge of everything. 
everything. Why? Because he is God. Now, to the original question, is he almighty God or God almighty? No. That's God. Jesus is God almighty manifest in a man. He's the firstborn of every creature. He is God in man flesh. At, although new glorified body in heaven. <clears throat> Does it diminish who Jesus Christ is? No. It, the one who sustains the universe, that's who Jesus Christ is. The one who judges everyone, that's who Jesus Christ is. The one who's in control of everyone, that's who Jesus Christ is. Every time Satan blames you and me as believers, Jesus Christ is the one who intercedes for us because he's the interce intercessor. Okay? He sits at the right hand of God for all eternity. The Father and the Lamb are the temple there. It's okay that Jesus and God are not only God. You know what I mean? Jesus is God. So, I'd like to just kind of to the the three or four or five brethren that got upset with me okay the way you're asking asking me the question I'll change my answer to yes Jesus is almighty God because he is technically <clears throat> as a man like he's Jesus the son I don't know. I can't really change my answer. I can't. It's the same answer, but <clears throat> I understand what you're asking. Is Jesus God? Yes, he is. I'm not saying Jesus isn't God. I'm saying that Jesus' title isn't Almighty God. Jesus' title is Jesus Christ, the Messiah, our Savior, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The one who sustains the universe. Amen. He is my Savior. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created. He's the first. That are in heaven and that are in earth. Visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things and by him all things consist. All things. That means he was before the angels, everything. The image of God. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the manifest human. Somehow or other, this only happened 2,000 years ago. But uh, to God, that's just like... And he knows the end from the beginning, and so yeah, he could have just... Ins like, I don't know, right? But it doesn't change the story, it doesn't change the truth. It doesn't change who Jesus is or the deity of Christ. Um, that one bothers me, guys. You should look up the word deity. They use it for little gods, and my shoes could be a deity to somebody. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is God manifest in flesh, is how it's said. He's uh, God incarnate. He's God, yes. He's the Son of God, who is the one who sustains the universe. That's the Bible. And, um, although the whole triune thing is, is a little bit tricky and hard to understand, um, 
I highly suggest for people that go, no, look, see right here it says God or the Lord or Him or He. You have to look at the Word because like in this, who is the invisible image? Who is the image of the invisible God? And so you're thinking, oh, Almighty God, right? Well, that's not the word that they use for the word God here. The word they use for the word God here is Theos, which is God the Triune, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's the three of them. That's the God they talk of here in Colossians. Old Testament, when they talk about God, they speak of Jehovah, Elohim, or El Shaddai, God Almighty. This triune doesn't happen until the New Testament, guys. It's just the way it is. I've looked at many, many, many verses. I mean, I've been called many things over this. I've been just completely... Yeah, but... In all things, give thanks. If you're not... These are good things. These are biblical things to remember. And, uh, oh, you use a little faith. Just have faith in the Lord. Um, he's always got a plan. I didn't know what the plan was. My life fell apart. I turned to him. Bingo. He gives me answers. I have peace again. If nothing else, <clears throat> I have more peace. You know, like it hurts there was pain, it hurts, there was division. Um, I still saw some miracles happen. You know, I saw the Holy Spirit work through people and other people see the glory of God. So, there's no loss, right? I mean, it's not a loss. like me doing videos I thought you know I should stop and I made some video I don't know and whatever I said somebody's like wow well if it helps somebody to hear me talking about the truth of something good that's all that matters because I mean there's so much BS out there right now that it's just insane like every Everywhere you look, all kinds of division and crap. It's just terrible. But, foretold. <laughs> foretold. Um, all of this was foretold. We are in a certain time. Actually, I don't know, technically speaking, it, we should be the last generation. It's kind of how it reads. And in my own personal life, my own, with everything that's happened to me in my life lately, wow, yeah, <laughs> wow. There's just no denying it for me, none. I know. As tricky as reality is, I think I have a half-decent grasp on what it is. And it's one dirty, mean deception, guys. That's our reality today. That dirty, mean deception. And a lot of people have fallen for it. Most people have fallen for it. 98% of the people in the world probably think I'm crazy. So, <laughs> there you go. But, you know, through the grace of God... Um, I broke and I asked God, I cried out to God, and I meant it from the bottom of my heart, and I asked him to show me the truth, and he did, just like nothing, no problem, here you go, son, and he's my father, who art in heaven, I'm going to end with that, okay, guys, um, if there's one thing I want people to learn, it's the, the Lord's Prayer, Jesus Christ said this is the thing to say this is what you say to God and he is God so he knows what he wants to hear all right his father said tell the people son <clears throat>
to say the Lord's Prayer because the Holy Spirit will transfer that prayer to God. And Jesus Christ will intercede for you. The Holy Spirit can take your prayer and your heart and your feelings, your needs, your wants, and He can take those. Even though you don't know what to say, He does. And He'll take that to God. So, we're going to end this with the Lord's Prayer. And I think we should make a big habit, a big, um, not a big habit, but a, put a big priority on making a habit of saying the Lord's Prayer at least once a day. You know? All right, guys. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And amen. And um, that was it. translational change a long time ago um, it used to be deliver us from the evil one not from evil but from the evil one because it's his wicked fiery darts right <clears throat> all right so anyway let's just say it one more time because I love it <laughs> and if you know it, say it with me. And if you don't, rewind it and learn it. This is what God wants to hear from you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I just love that prayer. And you know, I gotta tell you, that got me through some dark days when I didn't know the Lord personally. I had no I was lost out there, but I had the Lord's Prayer, and that's what I said. And every now and then when I got really scared, I would I'd go, um, Yea, though I walk through the valley of death, I shall fear no evil, because God's with me. <laughs> that's all I need. <laughs> Alright, I love you guys. Have a great day.